in the bucket of the palenque. The mezcal fun. And uh, <clears throat> well, we've got all the maguez here, the uh, espadin agaves, not cactuses. But today it's interesting because this is the second part of the process. So the, the maguez here that get cooked in the fire down there. That's the bit they don't like me filming because that's the magic. How you do the fire is where it's at. But then once they're out of the fire and they're cooked after a few days, then they go into this. This is very traditional for old donkey. Yeah, and that big stone, which has got a special name, mashing down the, the cooked agar and the syrup comes out. They say, I haven't seen it. They say it's sort of like a, like a maple syrup, like a really sweet syrup. So, for a donkey mashes them down, and then, well, have you seen this bit before? They go into these barrels and ferment. Right, there's already some in there. And they'll ferment for quite a long time, like maybe a month. And then, in the copper stills. So, interesting. And then, this is where we buy. Right, we've got samples here. Reposado, it's sort of aged. Quiche, which is one of my favorites. Tepetstate, Cabala. And I'll buy myself a bottle of the Espadin, the, the basic mezcal. Uh, One dear, okay. So, uh, un litro de Espadin, por favor. Una poquita? Si, sí, de quiche. Por favor. Es de sabor. Ah, es de oh, sí, una crema. Oh, bueno, gracias. Buenas. ¿Y por litro de quiche? ¿Cuánto es? 400. Ok, próximo vez. Me gusta. So not, we're not getting it su sucked out and siphoned today. This is dog. Just sitting there. And a little shot of quiche. Okay, and then back on the road. 